Thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. What's up, Winners? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well and healthy out there. For today's video, we're going to be doing a food challenge at a restaurant called I Heart Mac and Cheese. Locally, it's in Boca Raton, so I don't have to drive too far. But I've had I Heart Mac and Cheese on two other occasions on a cheat day, and I really love their food. So they're actually creating a challenge for me, which is going to consist of like four mac and cheese bowls, a few grilled cheeses, mac and cheese bites, cookies, and I think more so it seems like it's going to be kind of a big one and i hope i'm ready now i did just get back from texas so i'm still warming up to things i haven't done any challenges since i got back from texas so we'll see what we can do today i did a little bit of capacity training last night i don't know if it's going to help but hopefully it does but we have about a 20 minute drive so i'm super excited i love mac and cheese let's go see what uh today's challenge is all about Before we begin today's video, I just want to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Trade. Coffee selections at your local stores are always pretty limited, at least the stores around my area, but there is a solution. Trade connects you to the best coffee from the nation's top roasters that you can't find in store. They match you to your own personal selection of coffee and it ships straight from the roastery to your door so you'll know it'll be fresh. Trade works by taking a quiz on their website and asking questions like, what's your experience level with coffee? If you make your coffee at home, do you like to add anything to your coffee like milk, sweeteners, sugar, what kind of roast level you enjoy, and a few more other questions. But after answering the questions provided, Trade will curate matches for your liking. After making a match to your coffee, you'll choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear at your door. Delivered at peak freshness straight from the roastery so you'll never run out of coffee again. Once you get your coffee, make sure to rate your matches so Trade can continue to please you with the coffee that you'll love. Some of my favorite benefits of using Trade they use eco-friendly packaging to ship all their coffee in, save the environment, but also never having to buy coffee from the grocery store. I love trying new coffees and you can't find new coffees at the grocery store. It's always the same stuff. And I also love to support local. Personally, it feels good supporting small local roasters. The quality is always way better. Also that the coffee is roasted and shipped within 24 hours of ordering. Can't beat that type of freshness. Trade guarantees you'll love your first coffee but if you don't, they'll ship you out a different bag free. When you guys sign up, you'll get your first bag free. Just take the quiz by clicking the link in the description. Also, free shipping. So, free shipping and a free first bag. Two bonuses. Huge thank you to trade. Thank you guys and back to today's video. All right, guys. So, we just made it to I Heart Mac and Cheese here in Boca Raton, Florida. Now, I have never been to this location. The only one that I've actually been to is the one in Coral Springs. And I actually did enjoy it. So, as you guys can see in front of me, um, there is quite a bit of food. And we're going to go over that in just a moment. Um, they do have locations nationwide. And for those of you that are vegan or want gluten-free options, they do have that as well so you have that available to you and for the four bowls in front of me we have three of their signature dishes and then i have one um, that i literally just put together it has marinara sauce corn chives onions and mushroom it's pretty much just a mess but it's pretty cool that you can build your own bowl here um, so that's definitely a bonus but here is their three signature dishes this one is a short rib philly smells good i'm a huge fan of philly and short rib as well Wow, that short rib is actually really tender. Here is a chicken parmesan. I'm a huge fan of chicken parmesan, so this one I know that I'm gonna enjoy. And the last one for their signature bowl is a skinny, sweet, and spicy. Now, they don't put any macaroni noodles in this one. It's actually cauliflower a chicken, mango habanero, and a ginger sesame. That one does taste delicious. For the grilled cheeses, I got one of their signature grilled cheeses that's called the best of both worlds. Mac and cheese, obviously, with short rib, barbecue sauce, white cheddar, and cheddar. I'm a huge fan of barbecue sauce, so I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one. And this is just my original grilled cheese. I like to have it classic sometimes. And almost lastly, we have mac and cheese bites right here, 10 of them. And then we also have cheesecake bites, which is new on their menu, and they're gonna be launching on July 30th, 
for National Cheesecake Day. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I'm a massive fan of cheesecake. There's graham crackers in here, um, cheesecake, cinnamon, and other goodies. I'm really excited about that one. And lastly, lastly, we have a couple of cookies. So with that said, I think that's that's pretty much it. It's a lot of food, so we'll see what I can do. Start in three, two, one. My timer has started, and I'm gonna give myself an hour to complete this. Let's hope that we can do it in an hour. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the Philly with the short rib. I'm gonna need to make some room, so we gotta get rid of some of these bowls. So like I said earlier, I love short rib, and this one's super tender. All right, we're finished with the short rib Philly. I love that short rib, very tender. Now we're gonna move on to the chicken Parmesan. Now you do have the option to go with the breaded chicken or chicken breast. I chose to go with just the chicken breast, marinara sauce on top of there, you know, cheese, and then chicken. And the noodles. After this, I'll have my fix for macaroni and cheese for the next month. We're done with our second bowl. Now, I think I'm gonna save the skinny one for later and just take out some of the hearty stuff and then we'll move on to the grilled cheese. Now this thing, it's just a combobulation. All right guys, so what I'm currently eating is the build your own bowl and I wasn't very thoughtful in what to put in it. I just kind of pointed this, 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 but the build your own bowl is kind of similar to Chipotle where you can pick your own ingredients. You have to pick your base, like noodles, um, you can even do tater tots, which is pretty crazy, broccoli, then you gotta pick your cheeses, your proteins, vegetables. You can really customize it any way you want it, and they have so many options. And not only do they offer build your own bowls, but they do offer build your own grilled cheese. Now, if you don't want any of their signature items that they offer on the menu, then you can just go ahead and build what you like. So that's what I really love about this place. Also, the food is good. Okay guys, we are about 12 and a half minutes in so far. We have three of the bowls done. I'm gonna save this one for after this grilled cheese right here. And this is their best of both worlds. And I think they said it was maybe their biggest one. Now there is some mac and cheese on top of it, which I'm just gonna take off. With barbecue sauce. I'll go ahead and show you guys the guts of it in there. It is perfection and it looks delicious. So for the best of both worlds, very, very delicious. I actually enjoy the barbecue sauce with the mac and cheese. And the short rib, I already talked about it earlier, super tender. It literally just breaks up in the mouth. But we'll go ahead and finish this. minutes 20 and a half minutes right now we're gonna go with the grilled cheese that i went with which is just their basic i think i went with pepper jack cheese no i want swiss cheese on this one but it's good to soak up the crust because it makes it a little softer sometimes a classic grilled cheese is all you need Both grilled cheeses are done. We are 26 minutes in so far. And we don't really have much left. The cookies right here, for me, it's very weird eating cookies without milk. Uh, I've done it with water, and it's definitely, um, it's not a good mix, cookies and water, but we're gonna have to deal with that. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and try um, the cheesecake bites. Mm. That outside's miraculous. It's magnificent. 
Oh, I can definitely taste the, the graham crackers in that. Those are good. Mm. That would be dangerous having these in my house because I would just eat an entire box if they had these. Those are a 10 out of 10. Excellent. I'm going to have one more and then we'll move on to it. Yeah, that's it right there. Graham crackers, cinnamon, it can't get any better than that. Okay, so we're gonna take out the mac and cheese bites, mac and cheese fried. It does come with cheese dipping sauce. I don't know if it's gonna be necessary, but we're gonna go ahead and do it for the first one. Yeah, it's good together. for the last mac and cheese bite. Okay guys, we're just about the 36 minutes in. On to the skinny, sweet, and spicy. There is no uh, actual uh, macaroni noodles in this one. Broccoli and cauliflower. This is probably more fitting for me after all this macaroni. I think I'm pretty much done uh, with macaroni. I got my fix for sure. So now it's time for some uh, fresh vegetables. I love broccoli. Ooh, that is kind of spicy. Drinking on the job. Huh? What's going on with that music? Forty-five minutes in, pretty much all the food is done. At least all of the uh, savory food. Now I have eight of these cheesecake bites left, which I am going to enjoy. And this cup of cookies, which I'm super thankful that the cookies are soft because I was afraid they're gonna be a little tougher. But these ones are a lot easier to eat than harder ones. They're soft. I just wish I had a glass of milk. We'll finish the cookies for the very last. I'll go ahead and enjoy these next eight cheesecake bites. And we're getting to the end of today's video. Now, as you guys know, we're onto the cheesecake bites and I gotta say, these things were amazing. I loved the cinnamon outside of it. I love the cheesecake, like cheesecake, I love cheesecake. Cheesecake's like one of my favorite desserts, but I just wanted to iterate that these cheesecake bites are brand new on the menu. So if you guys have a iHeart mac and cheese in your area, these are gonna launch on the 30th of July. So if you guys are into cheesecake bites and I think these things are a 10 out of 10, go ahead and try at any location if you guys have them in the area. To me, it is definitely worth it. So uh, the very last item, which are these cookies, 52 minutes in right now. I am eating like a turtle at the moment, or thoroughly chewing everything. So uh, let's go ahead and finish this off. So we completed it in 56 minutes and 32 seconds. I got a little slow towards the end, but um, I was able to complete it. Everything was wonderful. Um, honestly, my favorite, uh, let's not say dessert because obviously my favorite was gonna be the cheesecake bite, but definitely the chicken parm bowl and also the best of both worlds grilled cheese. A huge thank you to I Art Mac and Cheese for allowing me to come taste their uh, brand new cheesecake bites, which again is gonna be available on July 30th for National Cheesecake Day. So with that said, <laughs>